US Army is lowering the hardware footprint and leveraging faster computer processing speed for its Warfighter Information Network Tactical, a mobile SATCOM and radio network engineered to enable mission command on the move so that soldiers and commanders in tactical or combat vehicles, even at fixed locations like forward operating bases, can share digital moving map displays, force tracking data, even intelligence information along specific routes in a fast-changing dynamic combat situation in real time. This is of great significance for the Army as it moves toward a more expeditionary posture and emphasizes rapid deployability. It was recently demonstrated at the Network Integration Evaluation and Army Exercise at White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. A smaller hardware footprint enables the Army to engineer Win-T Increment 2 right into the back of a Humvee and then sling load it beneath a Chinook cargo helicopter. This enables a number of tactical advantages, what they call mounted vertical maneuver or the prospect of arriving from the air and avoiding high-risk areas on the ground. The Army is also looking closely at the future of Win-T. The Army Chief of Staff recently launched a network assessment looking at a variety of connectivity technologies across the Army. Win-T figures prominently in this assessment. Some critics have raised the question that despite its successful performance in Iraq and Afghanistan, would it be vulnerable to sophisticated electronic warfare technology should the Army wind up in a near-peer or mechanized force-on-force -force engagement with a technologically sophisticated adversary? Many noticed the effective use of electronic warfare by Russia during its annexation of Ukraine. So could the network be interrupted or jammed in some way by electronic warfare, other kinds of information assurance attacks? Well, General Dynamics mission systems engineers are working to harden the network. One of the things they're emphasizing is directional antennas, so that if you emit a signal in one area where the enemy isn't, you can then be less susceptible to being detected. They're looking at a variety of ways to ensure that both the software programmable radio and the SATCOM connectivity can be self-healing, so that if one node goes down, there are other elements of the network that keep going. The idea is to enable this promising technology to succeed in both the last 15-year type counterinsurgency environment as well as the prospect of a near-peer type engagement. Chris Osborne, Defense Systems.